So I thought it'd be nice to do something with this red light today. And uh, I took it apart to try to figure out what makes it work. And what I have discovered is it has these little type of bulb hickeys in it. And the way they work is you press a wire down inside the back of here and there's two little pieces of metal that cut into the wire and they're supposed to make contact on uh, one side and the other which one side would be a ground the other side would be the hot side um, they have a little clip on them like this one that sort of brings the wire down to the right place this particular one didn't have a clip and it was in the middle here and these work rather sporadically. They kind of work sometimes, they kind of don't work sometimes. Well, I was looking for a better setup because I'd like to have some lights that actually work. And I went up to the hardware store and for 10 bucks, which is less than I could get one fixture for. I bought this whole string of Christmas tree lights. And they work, uh, they work quite well. And I believe I can cut each one of these lights off, run those two wires in there, connect them in a rather, uh, rather well connected sort of a fashion. Oh, the joy. And then replace the bulbs that's in there with, with these bulbs. And if one of them ever goes out, I'll just cut the wires put another one in there. I've, like I've got 25 bulbs here, so that's probably enough bulbs to last the rest of the life of this thing. So, if I put that in there, that'll take care of the bulb problem, then I'll just have to figure out the sequencer, how to wire the sequencer in. Uh, I'm thinking about using the sequencer off this light, but I'm also wondering if it would make sense to just get a separate sequencer for this light. Because this one here, that's a big light. That lights up the whole valley when that thing is on. I'm pointing at that, but the light itself is out here. Uh, and I don't turn it on that much because it uses up a good bit of electricity. But what I was thinking is I could get a separate sequencer for this one in here. And just sit it up there and probably just leave it on all the time and let it run. Because these little Christmas tree lights are not going to use any power to speak of at all. So most of the money I'll spend will be just to get another sequencer. So next thing you do is cut one of these loose and check it. And uh, make sure it works. Connect, disconnect it from the pile. So I'll do that right now. Alrighty, here I am. I believe I can take this wire here. This is, uh, let me unplug this while I work that. Alrighty then, so I'm going to test this light bulb on these lights here. And I believe that uh, this one is the ground. I should probably unplug that so that I can clean that off. Alrighty, I should be able to touch this wire to these three wires and they should all three light this thing up. No, yes, oh that blew the light, look at that. You know what that means, don't you? That means this light can't run on that much power. Too much power for it. Dang! Well that's going to be a problem. Okay, now we know.